Hello everybody and welcome back to the chateau, which is currently my very pretty prison, because I can't get out. You're not liking all of this work and noise much, are you, hey? Huh? Yes. Yeah, you're just lying around, chilling out, off camera. So it's all a bit confusing. What are all these people doing? Hmm? I'm gonna go and show them, okay? Good boy. All right, so. It's all getting dug up to put in the new water pipes. Now, I think <laughs> they have actually. <clears throat> this is some of the old water pipes. So I'm kind of glad I'm getting new water pipes. I don't think that's something I'd really love to be uh, utilizing. Um, and there are some others. Not to mention some electrical cables. So it's all going a little bit meh. Um, and lots of granite. We're doing a good job. But as we can see, I can't get in or out, which is a complete pain in the backside because this is the month where I'm supposed to be getting everything packed down and dealt with before the winter. You know, September is the, the month of getting everything done and that involves a lot of going in and out, getting rid of stuff to the recycling centre and everything up and down this driveway. I just can't do it. So they're coming from inside the house, this and this down here. They've got to finish up all of this. These <sighs> plants. <sighs> to meet the main drive. Oh, which I'll tell you right now has turned into a complete mess. But it'll all work out. It's not as bad as a mess as the one, <laughs> the trench up there. Are you quite comfy there, mate? You don't really appear to be helping too much today. Just lounging around. I could have done with the help. Right, well, had to leave this here. Because then hopefully I can get out. <laughs> but I can't obviously get stuff in and out of the house at the moment. So I'm literally walking across bridges and other ends of gardens and fields to be able to go anywhere. And with all this rain, this uh, is not getting particularly easy to get out of. Obviously, yes, that's very good off-road. Not when you're on expensive road tyres because it's not exactly designed to be out in the forest. And that weather is rather affecting what's going on here. Because as you can now see, this is just a mud pit. There is just so much going on now because we're getting everything done real quick. I mean, they are so good at this. These guys, are they are pro. They really, really are. And I think they're getting that stuff probably into my driveway, to be fair into the part of the house. But I mean, just, but just look at the state of it. It looked so pretty before, it was all looking good. <laughs> oh no. So I said in a previous video that apart from sort of sticking me inside and I'm stuck, I'm actually having to help them out and point stuff out and come across a bit of an issue. I had to point out there's some electric cables and I'm just gonna walk around and see if that's gone anywhere. But when this was all first pointed out and the trench going down the driveway, I pointed out the fact that the root system for a certain tree that's very big and very old will go right where they want the trench to go. So I did, they did say originally that once they got to the root system, that they would sort of 
pick around it and then go under the roots and then backfill once they've gone deep enough. And I literally saw one of the younger guys with the digger are just ripping through the root system. And I can't go and film while they're there, but I am pretty worried about it. So I've got to try and look at it before they backfill it because I'm, I know that's what they've done and I need to then plan for that tree because otherwise that tree is tall enough that if it goes the opposite way, it will actually come down through the chapel. Oh, oh there's a digger, there's a dumper, there's a JCB, it's all going to get a bit... Well, it's all getting complicated. It's all getting complicated. Uh, yes. Oh, everything's starting to come in. I think they're going to do that last bit tomorrow. And like I said, I've got cabling there. That's, that's the difficult thing. So as you can see, it's a massive root which comes straight, straight through there. And that's just been split up and dug up. And that could be a problem. However, we'll get to that. We've got two trenches here because one of those is going to be for fibre, I think. And the other's water, and hey, we're doing well. Okay. We're at the end of the next day, which means I might be finally released from my pretty prison and get back on with the things that I want to get done because I might be able to get the cars out and trailers out. Do you know what? My worry about the state of the place. It is dissipating. We haven't finished that one, but that's fine because I can get cars out. And it ain't the prettiest, but it's nice, flat, level. They've been doing a nice job for me. And they've done all sort of, you know, they've gone back, they've edged everything. There's going to be some grass seed needed, obviously. <laughs> quite a lot but this is quite flat I mean ideally this needs a proper roller that's a box for fibre stuff so I think I think I can finally get out and not really a massive fan of how it looks compared to how it used to look but it's flatter so no complaints and it needed to get done you're gonna be catching or are you just gonna that's not how this game works you know that okay so the disruptions which got in the way are over well I mean there's still some going on but I can get in and out now they're not in the side they're not blocking me in I'm not marooned in the house which is really important and actually i got lots done inside off camera plus the sun's come back out which means all the things that i want to do are much easier so it's been a bit tedious but normal service will be resumed as of tomorrow in many many ways so thank you everyone for your lovely comments thank you everyone for asking where i was uh, uh, and the messages and thank you all for being patient and I cannot wait to get back to actual progress tomorrow because to be honest when I don't get anywhere out here I do start getting a little bit teasy and certainly if you ask anyone around me for the last couple of weeks I've been a bit teasy so thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye now